afternoon, South Africa, and a very warm welcome to you this fabulous fake Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> on Afternoon Express. My name is Jeannie D, and of course, I'm joined by Chef Clem and our lovely Saran Ellen for our Tuesday cook along. How was your Heritage Day yesterday? Well, I worked, you weren't here. That's also like, what do you mean fake Monday? But then my brain apparently <laughs> Because yesterday my brain was a public still holiday. on public holiday. holiday. Okay. Yeah. Clem, you're still on holiday, but uh, what did you do for your heritage day? I spent the day with my family, which was yes. amazing. Okay, yeah. and which heritage did you celebrate? You know what? Because you're a little bit of Portuguese, you're a little bit of this, Mexican, you're a little bit of that. Everything. I, I, did, I, did, I did everything. Okay, I did good. everything, yeah. Nice to hear. What did you do to celebrate your heritage day? I had a whole bunch of friends over and we literally bride for about eight solid hours. Oh, it's, it's my favorite. I was up at 26. It's my favorite day of the year. Like, I just <laughs> love it. So it was everything I hoped it would be. And of course, everybody obviously had leftovers. I worked. Oh, yes, you said you were. I'm so sorry. everybody had leftovers then for breakfast. Yes. Like, no, oh, jealous. So, anyway, today it's the Afternoon Express Cook Along, and today we are keeping things extra spicy in the kitchen. So, joining us, of course, we've got Chef Clem, we've got Sue Ann Ellen, and of course, we're going to be preparing <laughs> a flavorsome barbecue glazed chicken with a spicy pasta salad, just because I didn't get to bry yesterday. Just for you. We, we're doing, we're yeah. we brying. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> this was like one of the coldest winters, like this last little bit of winter was so cold. Yeah. I think people was looking forward to just like finally lighting fires and brying. Yeah. That, yeah. Like people are going crazy. They are brying non-stop right now. Exactly. So this is a recipe just for them. We can't bry, again, we can't bry inside the loft. We're gonna use our griddle pan, we're gonna use our oven, but this is what you can totally do on the bry. Okay. Yeah. And then that is a, a sure winner this, as a bride. Yeah, you know, for me, I've grown up with my gran always making a, cust a, par a curry pasta salad. Let's get yeah. that right. And we're going to do just a different take on that today. So it's for me, it's something that's truly South African. It's yeah. delicious. It's even better the next day. So make a big bowl tonight. Yeah. Have some more tomorrow. Have it the next day. I mean, this is what I could eat. Days. Yeah, me yeah. too. I'm so We're looking, like looking forward at the to pasta that. With both <laughs> yeah. Would you have that instead of a potato salad? Because it's your starch. <laughs> you would have both. I would have both. Okay, there. I've just said it. I'd ha we'd have both. Yes. <laughs> I love how you think. And of course, if you want a list of ingredients and a link to this classic recipe, sent to your phone, then SMS the keyword eat to double three six five zero. SMS is a one round fifty each, and no free SMSs apply. Now remember to keep your device with you in the kitchen while you cook along with us, because we are streaming live on YouTube so if you get stuck then uh, just give us a call anytime during the show on 021-430-9881 we're literally on standby to take your calls mm -hmm. if you need any help in the kitchen while you are whipping up this fabulous dish then of course you can also engage with us on social media and tell us who has been a really strong influence on who you are now by tweeting us at afternoon chat by using the hashtag afternoon express or comment on our facebook page like because it could be anybody a teacher a mentor a parent a loved one a friend did you guys have anybody who was really an inspiration in, in, in your yeah, lives yeah i mean for me in terms of food it was my grand but also not only food she taught me about unconditional love and i think oh, that comes through in food so she was incredible Incredibly special to me yeah. and then we've got like a thousand chef heroes you know we I think we all know Ruben Riffle I think he's really yeah. great in what he's done for food in South Africa so those are two people that are super special too yeah me. my gran as well yeah. this is for grannies <laughs> this is for granny and for you it's gonna sound like a stereotype better be your granny <laughs> <laughs> but it's my mom for real it's, it's my mom yeah she she's like super short super tiny but we call her Chuck Norris you know, she's hectic like she that. she can do everything. Yeah, but she can do everything as yeah. well. And I think that's something I've learned from her, that nothing's impossible. You can always get it done. And you can do it while loving people and being kind to them at the same See? time. Exactly. There we go. Oh, I love yeah. that. She sounds like a really, really wonderful woman. And you know what else is, what's also wonderful? Dessert. <laughs> so, we also are going to have an amazing dessert here in the loft. And we're very passionate about dessert. And that's because we're influenced by Chef Clem's sweet tooth. So for dessert, we are making rich and creamy Amasi so cloakies. I say even it so said well. it properly. <laughs> what is a so cloaky? I don't know what you're to say. I don't so, even know what it is. It's, it's basically twice it cooked dough okay. that gets finished off in a beautiful syrup in the oven. Okay, it's just carb on carb on carb on carb on carb. Like a, but like a donut. <laughs> you, they're, no? they're cousins. 
Okay, the kind of of, oh, yeah, yeah. amazing. Okay, good. <laughs> if you want this delicious Amasi sauce cloaky recipe sent directly to your phone, then SMS the keyword Clover to double three six five zero. SMS is a one round fifty each and free. SMSs do not apply. And now, da -dun, da -dun, because it's Tuesday, we always have a fabulous guest in the loft. Our special guest today is soul singer and writer Deslin Malotana, who gained major popularity on the music charts after the release of her hit single, How, from her self-titled EP in 2014. So she attributes her musical inclination to her late father, Desmond Malotana, who founded the well-known 80s band Brenda Fussy and the Big Dudes. So Deslin is now forging her own signature style in entertainment as a vibe performer. Have a look at this. just such a joy to watch perform. Thank Welcome you. to The Love. Thank you for having me. I mean, music is literally in your blood. Like everyone in your family Definitely. was musically talented. Well, not everyone, but most of us. Most yes. of us. <laughs> <laughs> and the ones that aren't, do they just kind of like clap and sing along? <laughs> yeah, basically. Or whistle. Whistle maybe? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's like me. Like I play the fool or I can play the triangle. <laughs> you must have had such a colourful childhood. So your father, obviously, yes. you know, what, what an absolute legend. What was it like growing up with him as your father? Well, I, I don't really, really think I understood or really yeah. took note or really grappled the idea of who my father actually was. Yeah. But to me, he was just my father, you know. So, I mean, I enjoyed listening to him play keyboard. I um, enjoyed listening to his music. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, my childhood was pretty, was pretty normal, I think. Yeah, yeah pretty normal. He wrote and, and produced Weekend Special. <laughs> um, <laughs> he definitely produced and composed the music for Weekend Special, yes. Incredible. Definitely. Definitely. Did you ever have like Brenda Fussy coming over to the house just to hang out? Well, probably. Well, I was a, but I was a lot younger back then, so yeah. she was definitely probably there around. Definitely. Incredible. When did you realise that you were talented then? Um, when I was <clears> young, <throat> hey, when I was a bit young. I mean, I started singing, these, we, we joke about it all the time. Um, my mom's like, when you were six years old, you, start, you, you sang Baba Black Sheep in opera. And I'm just like, okay, that's like so weird <laughs> and random. But I think like early on, I realized that I had a voice and that I enjoyed singing and that I enjoyed the reaction I got from people with me yeah. singing. Yeah. And do you think your father acknowledged that you also were talented so that it was just definitely a, just a natural definitely. vibe around the house? Did you definitely. ever have jam sessions? Well, I mean, I never grew up with my father, so we didn't yeah. really actually get to do jam sessions and I was quite young when he passed away as well. Yeah. So I wish I could have had yeah. jam sessions with him, um, but yeah. No, so we didn't, <laughs> but I would have loved to. I would love to have jam sessions. Well, having watched you perform, I think that if he had to watch you, I think he would have been so, so proud of Thank you. Thank you, I think so too. So you grew up in Johannesburg, but you're a Cape Town girl at heart. When did you make the move? Well, I mean, I was born in Johannesburg yeah. and then we stayed there for a few years and then my mom's from Cape Town and then we moved back. Yes, I mean, I've been, I grew up in Cape Town. Yeah. I went to school here, studied here. Um, so yeah, that's quite a long time, probably like... 20 years ago. Yeah. yeah, I was six when I moved here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're a Cape Town girl. Definitely. Has music <laughs> always been your focus? Like when you went to study, was it always music that, that was your own goal? Or was there anything else that you thought, hmm, I could be pursuing this in my life? I think music has always been the number yeah. one thing that I wanted to, wanted to pursue. Um, I think it's something that... It literally makes me happy. That's the that's the happiest place I'm at when I'm yeah. when I'm doing music, when I'm on stage, when I'm making music. Um, anything revolving music, it makes me. It he, it's it's healing. So I think yeah. that's where that's where I found myself 
in music, yeah. And it re it's, it's, heal it's so interesting that you say that because it's actually healing watching you as well. When Aww. you're on stage, you kind of go into this like comfortable space and you just look like you belong there. Thank you. So then it's so interesting that, that you sing soul and like a, a kind of jazz. It's almost old worldly considering yes. you're so young and sprightly <laughs> and sexy. So why that genre in particular? It spoke to my soul. That's exactly yeah. why I decided, why I chose, or why, why I gravitated towards doing soul music because it spoke to my soul. So I think listening to the artists that I do, um, like the Lauryn Hills, Joel Scott, all of them, they, they are so powerful writers and thinkers. And that is yeah. exactly what spoke to me. And that's exactly what I want to do for others. Do yeah. you write your own music? I do, definitely. And then what is your process? Like how, and I mean, how, I think it must be the most difficult thing in the world to write a song. Because do you come up with the medley and the words or the words and the medley? And what is the, the process? I think it depends. Sometimes it's the medley first, then it would be the band doing, having played, having laid something down first. Or sometimes it's yeah. the lyrics that come first and then the music. So it's sort of like, I don't really have a specific um, routine or, a spec or how it act. It just depends on how I'm inspired, really. Yeah. yeah. I was, um, you know, Clem's got such an amazing story, but he'll tell you in the kitchen when you're cooking with us about his connection to jazz music. But nowadays, do you, you know, with the internet, and I think music is so accessible, mm -hmm. how can you encourage younger people to be inspired by jazz as you were and to kind of get a lot more younger people listening to jazz the same way as you have that interest? Well, I think for me, I grew up listening to, well, my, my mother listened to jazz and yeah. everyone listens, well, listened to jazz and stuff. So I think for me, I think... Well, I don't really know how I would encourage them, but I think it's, in a sense, it's, it's, it's good music. It's good yeah. music. And so that is why I like jazz music or soul music, to say, so to say. So I think that, I think opening up your ear, opening up your mind to other things to, to, that's not really necessarily playing on radio, because jazz is not necessarily playing on radio. Soul music is not always being played on radio. Yeah. So I think that, like, yeah, just opening your mind and exploring different yeah. artists and like finding out new things and new people to listen to. I think that's encouragement. Yeah. yeah. But because it's not often, often played on radio, mm -hmm. I think you rely tremendously on your touring and yes. on your gigs. So, I mean, what is your dream? Where do you want to tour? Where do you want to gig? Wow, I would love to do an African tour. Yeah. I would love to do a Europe tour, tour as well. Um, I would love to do UK. <laughs> is there anything in the pipeline? Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So, so I've seen how incredible you are on stage. You really are amazing. But how good are you in the kitchen? Not too bad. I think I can. Really? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I cook. Okay, no, you're gonna, Clem is going to be so impressed because he's a huge fan. He loves your voice. He loves Thank you. About you. <laughs> so we're going to certainly put you to Let's the test. Let's do that. Thank you so much for being Thank here today. Thank you so much for having me. You're going to be performing for us a little bit later. Definitely. You're going to be performing How? That song did so well. I'm actually performing Black Love. That's oh, my yeah? new single that I released okay, early on this year. Yay. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for everybody to hear that song. Amazing. Definitely. So are we. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited to have you here. <laughs> so on the other side of the break, we put Jaslyn's cooking skills to the test alongside our favourite chefs, Clem and Sue Ann Allen. And, of course, we'll be making the tastiest barbecue chicken with ultimate spicy pasta salad.
guests on Afternoon Express fly domestically with Mango. Enjoy outstanding service, online check-in and seat selection. With the widest booking and payment options, Mango is the only airline globally to accept store charge cards as a means of payment. Fly in comfort with ergonomically efficient seats for more legroom aboard a fleet of new generation Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Join the guests of Afternoon Express and fly Mango. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, and we're back in the kitchen for our Tuesday cook along. Now, with summer around the corner, we know that you will be spending a lot more time around the fire with friends and family, enjoying the chiers. But what's a gathering without good food? So today we'll prepare a mouth-watering spicy pasta salad with perfectly glazed chicken, <laughs> which would be perfect on any braai. So if you want a list of the ingredients and a link to this classic recipe sent to your phone, all you need to do is SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMS is a one round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And remember to keep your device with you in the kitchen while you cook along with us, because we're streaming live on YouTube. So if you get stuck along the way, please call Clem, don't ask me. <laughs> Give us a call on 021-430-9881. All right. Okay. You know what's going on here, huh? You're comfortable you? in the kitchen. More or less. <laughs> more or less. More or less. I, I like when, when the guests come in the kitchen and they don't know what's going on. I like, we like, I want you to be caught off guard okay. almost. Okay, I'll pretend. You pretend, there we yeah. go. Yeah. But I'm seeing Steve, I need, to, I need to turn this down real quick, a bit of heat going on here. You know, I just figured, like, this is all oh. very familiar to my. Ooh. We're yeah. fine, guys, it's okay. <laughs> Everyone's okay. You know, especially at bride days and when my family and friends all get together, I think it's very important to understand your role. So, all of my friends and family will prepare the food, they okay. do the feast, and my role at those events is kind of to stand with a glass of wine no. and <laughs> entertain everybody. Okay. Yeah. But do you, do you, do you, you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's everything we've taught you. Yeah, yes. I just, I, I mean, I enjoy being in, in an inspired environment you do like this. Well, <laughs> no, okay. That's great. That's fine. Okay, cool. So let's start with the chicken real quick. Okay. So the idea is that we're going to glaze this chicken. Okay. But the trick people often make is they glaze the chicken in the beginning and then put it under the heat. Mm. You're going to burn it. Okay, there's sugar in our marinade that we got here. So we're going to start off with just salt and pepper and the chicken. Okay. And we, you're going to start grilling the chicken. Okay. It's okay. I mean, the worst you can do is undercook the chicken and then I'll come to work tomorrow. Or burn it. Or burn it. <laughs> no pressure. No so pressure. No pressure. No, you can do this. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do salt and pepper. So not a lot of people don't like the skin on the chicken. Mm. That's fine. But I always say cook it with the skin on and then take it off afterwards. afterwards okay. The skin actually renders into the fat. Makes it a little more juicier. So if you are watching the calories, take it off afterwards, but do cook it with the skin on. Okay. So this is for you. Is chicken skin really adding calories? Yes, it is, yeah. because yeah. chicken doesn't have intramuscular fat, which means the fat doesn't run through the actual flesh. It's on the outside, it's in the skin, okay. which is why people love it so much, because fat is flavor and flavors everything. Is that why when you're getting summer ready, they say like chicken breasts, no skin? Yeah. Oh, there man. we go, that's, that's <laughs> the thing. I've been tugging into the best Lovely parts of the this. chicken then wondering why. <laughs> Not oh, oh, quick one, quick one. Okay. Can you put this one skin side down for me? Okay. Cat side up. She even knows what I mean. Look at that, you know what's up. Okay. But, um, do you know, but what you're saying, <laughs> restaurants know what's up. That's why they're serving chicken skin as a little accompaniment to dishes. Yeah. Oh, what? Can what? we just get chicken yeah. skins in restaurants? Yeah, like some restaurants, they do that on the menu, be like... It's just crispy chicken skin. Like, how amazing is that actually? I have oh. never heard of that in my entire life. <laughs> okay. okay, why is this a good idea to, okay. to go skins first? We're going to try and render out the fat of the skin, okay. skin side down first so we can start browning with the chicken nicely. Okay. Look, it's not also a bad thing if you end up going um, flesh side down. It is more presentable, it looks better, you get more of the fat coming out that way. Okay. You know your thing, you know what's going on. Do you cook like at, at home? I do, indeed. Like, is there a go-to like dish that you always, like, last minute, 11 o'clock, that's what you're making? Um, pasta, like, like, uh, like, yeah, pasta. Yeah, I agree with you. Where? <laughs> <laughs> All right, talking about pasta. Mm -hmm. Talking about pasta, we are going to, I'm going to start going, get, getting going in this pasta salad, which I said is a curry pasta salad, which is just like, Girl. for me, it's like a million memories. And we're going to add some seriously good stuff to that, like charred okay. corn and bacon. So it kind of like the salad just really does get yeah. better. So I'm going to get just this covered on its own, it's so good. So just okay. watch, this is going to spit a bit. <laughs> and can this become popcorn? <laughs> well, do you see me not add, <laughs> did, did you see me not add too much oil to that? Because 
You will have some kernels which will explode and pop, so do be But it won't become do be a careful. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, is that a silly no. question? No, but it's going to pop at you. That is oh, for sure. Okay. <laughs> so it will pop. So we yeah. just want to get some really nice colour onto, onto our corn. Okay. And then we'll build the base of the sauce, which is amazing. So we've got curry paste, we've got some milk, we've got some really thick, rich, creamy mayonnaise, spring onion. Um, I know that Jeannie and I are then going to run off set with a bowl. No, but we it's good. Really have in the bowl. <laughs> is this traditionally a Cape Town thing? Because I've only ever, ever seen the salad in Cape Town. You know, I think with with the Cape Malay culture, it's a really popular thing here. I've never eaten it at mates' houses in Joburg. Never. But, so can we claim it? Can we just claim oh, it here? It's totally a Cape Town thing, I'm sure Should we of it. ask like Joburg and, Joburg and Durban, like, do you yes. make pasta salad? Do you do curry pasta? Yeah. Okay, the curry pasta. Let us know. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat. Use our official hashtag Afternoon Express and let us know if you're from anywhere outside of Cape Town, let us know if you eat and enjoy this curried pasta. It has, it's got to be the curried one at a braai. Let us know. I'm, I'm looking forward to that because I've only ever eaten this in Cape Town. Yeah. I've, yeah. Never, I've, I've never even seen it in Joburg or Durban. Maybe, maybe Durban. <laughs> <We're like laughs> <the October>. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Durban or Cape Town. <laughs> Okay, why so, are you mixing that? In? So I'm adding a little bit of, of milk to the curry paste. This is just going to loosen it up so that we get a really even coating okay. when our mayonnaise goes in. So you just want to break it up with a little bit of milk. You can use as much as you feel is necessary, so I don't want to yeah. go in really with all of it straight tricky. away. Okay. Um, and then as soon as the corn is charred enough, that'll go so straight that into this. Help so you with that. Thanks, honey. The corn goodness. goes into the this. The corn is going to go into this. Oh, that's quite young. Yeah, see, it's Oh, it's got some nice colour on there. It's got some gorgeous yeah. colour. Mm. I love charred corn. I like corn mm. anything. I corn know. Corn. Anything yeah. is amazing. Um, and we just, we've got such beautiful corn here. I think whether it's fresh or whether it's, in, our, our corn is incredibly sweet yeah. in South Africa. Mm. And whenever I've got overseas guests, the one thing they'll say they notice is that it's just not fair because they've never tasted corn like yeah. the like corn ours. that's available here. I think it's yeah. a South African yeah. to, to be honest you. with you. Please, please, hun, if you wouldn't mind, oh, careful, those handles are super hot. So it's been okay. proven that because of the South African sun, our fruits and vegetables taste a lot best. better. The sugars that's are more perfect. developed in there, so things yeah. taste sweeter. It's just, it's just proven, scientific. So yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. So I like what you're doing with your chicken right now. You haven't like turned them all over at the same yeah. time. The trick is that, just keep the gas on. The trick is that. No, I think it's on. The trick is that um, if it sticks to the pan, don't move it. It means it's not ready to be lifted ah. yet. As soon as it easily turns over, it means you've got a nice crust on it, nice and brown. Yes. Okay. Is that a rule of thumb with everything? Yes. yes. If it's if it, fish, chicken, beef, you name it. If it doesn't lift up easy, easily, it means it's not ready to be turned over. Clem, that is such a good tip. It's like people, it's like people. We express how we feel, I mean, you'll know, you'll understand, and then we move on. <laughs> kind of. No, not really. But um, yeah, you're doing the right thing. So also very important that you keep on turning it over. Okay. You, don't, <laughs> you don't want to brown it too much. Cool. The idea is like, yeah, keep on doing that. Okay. That's it, I'm sealing. Okay, now you're adding the carrot. I'm adding some carrot all to this mix, and then I'm going to add the spring onion. We've already cooked our pasta. So all we're going to do then is get this beautiful mixture in there. We're going to add our crispy bits of streaky bacon because everything is better with bacon. And then some more mayonnaise just for good luck and we'll season. And then this will be ready to go. What's really lovely about this is it's rich, it's creamy, it's tasty, but you've also got, you know, for me, the fresh bites of the onion. Yeah. The, mm. I almost wanted no, to I'm eat this, this carrot. You know, so you, know <laughs> you and I are just splitting that <laughs> bowl. You're <laughs> just staring at this bowl with such love and it's not even done yet. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, and your chicken's looking really good. Yeah. I can see looking, you're our regular yeah. bry master here today. You Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so after the break, we finish up our perfectly marinated and spicy meal. Remember that if you've got any culinary questions for Shem, or for Shem, Shem for Shem, 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 or for Shu, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if you want to speak to our guest, Deslin, then you can call us anytime during the show on 021-430-9881. We'll be right back after this break. You take that?
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We are in the kitchen whipping up part two of our heritage celebration. Another fabulous little Bry in the loft, if we can call this Brian for today. <laughs> and of course, we've got Chef Clem, the fabulous uh, Sue Ann Ellen. And we've got, of course, Deslin Malotana <laughs> in the loft. And she's definitely the Bry master for, to, for the day. You're making <laughs> such a fantastic job. Oh, so now's about a good time to start. Now we're uh -huh. going to start glazing this chicken. Okay. And this is some, just some beautiful smoky barbecue sauce. You mm. never want to do this too early because the sugars in that will simply burn. So, you okay. know, sometimes you serve it, your chicken's not quite done yet, but you think it is, it's, it's just gone too far. So, you always want to cook your chicken before you start glazing, and you've just got the perfect succulent, soft, juicy chicken and, and, and just enough caramelization of oh, the sugars and in the I sauce. And I love a good sauce on a chicken. But yeah. now's about a good time to take a call. So, we've got Shirley calling from Muscle Bay. Hi, Shirley. Hello, good afternoon. I hope you're well, Shirley. Thank you for calling. What's your question or comment? Um, I'd just like to ask him, um, is it possible this dish you're making now? Sorry? Um, is it possible to um, use, instead of the whole kernel corn, could you use, um, you know, the sweet corn? and like maybe cream just style corn. Of, yeah, and maybe add a, add a bit of uh, sweet onion or something? And also the chicken, um, if you didn't want um, chicken portions, could you could you use, um, you know, the, the ordinary, like, chicken um, fillet? Absolutely. So with, uh, with that pasta salad, and that's actually a trick to use cream-style corn. Mm. It adds a lot more um, texture and flavor to it, the sweetness, of course. So I think that's a brilliant idea. Thank you for that suggestion. I love that. And then for this recipe for chicken, you could use a chicken flatty, you could use chicken fillets, you could use any type of chicken. It works all the same. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you so much for calling. Hope you're enjoying Muscle Bay this fine day. <laughs> can, you give, can, you help, can you give us a tip, please? Oh, right. I, I'll, yeah. you're, standing, you're standing there looking so good with the tongue. That I thought, you know, I'm not going to take that away from you. Desmond's <laughs> job from her. <laughs> here you go. Right. And now, do you sing in the kitchen while you cook? Because I noticed you're not doing it here, which is a little awkward. No. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't. But, I mean, well, maybe. I listen to music and I cook Christmas. Really? Christmas what do you listen to at home? Because you're a jazz fan, do you feel like you always listen to jazz? No, I listen to a lot of soul music. So I listen to, like, Anderson Park, Common, Robert yeah. Glasper, Lauren Hill, um, so many. Stevie Wonder, nice. um, Pilau. Yeah, I listen to many, many different artists. Very cool. Yeah. Clem, I think now's a good time to tell your jazz story. All right. So because, I, no, because it's so sweet. Yeah, no. Clem is such a fan. I am a huge fan, and our viewers are also like, once a year you sing, they'll understand why. But jazz, I think, is like one of the most beautiful genres ever. And I grew up in a home listening to jazz all the time. And one person we know as well, Sammy Weber, mm. used to come to the house, you know, for, for Bri, and they used to just like jam out. And you think it's just Uncle Sammy, just playing, just, and then when you grow up and you like go to a club, and then there's a guy on stage, thousands of people are like freaking out. They're like, wait, I know I that man, you know? Yeah. And it's so crazy because there's an appreciation for jazz that we have, and now the younger people are getting into it, and they're performing. And it's like, still jazz, but like a different, different accent yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. It's in hip hop right now. It's in everywhere right now. Yeah. It's everywhere right now. It's everywhere right now. But then you know what freaks me out about you is you don't actually know how to physically jazz. That's not the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Kate be like, what? That's not the same thing. You're going to have to learn. You All right, know okay. how to. I can't believe you just, you just called this. <laughs> <out. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, I will go and get, I'll just go get oh, lessons. And yeah. all oh, that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get some lessons, oh, get that done. But honestly, oh, your, your voice is amazing. Thank it you is so like, it's, it's actually, it just takes me back to like old school jazz and a bit of that new. It's crazy. I get goosebumps even talking about it. I haven't even like heard oh, it just yet. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so Great. Much. I appreciate that. Okay, Clem, what are you making with all them peppers there? Okay, cool. I want just, I just like chop up some peppers. We're going to make a spicy bean salad. A little, bit of, little bit of Mexican play right now. Oh, I love the pasta salad, by the way. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, so, Clem, okay, let's focus on you. I know we're getting, we're so distracted. We can eat the bacon and the mayonnaise. It's not going to make it to the dish. It's not going to make it to the dish. We're making a spicy bean salad. We've got these new beans right now called painted lady beans. Beans aren't just beans. They're like so many varieties of beans. <laughs> yeah. And I think you've you got to like show appreciation for the beans. So yeah. what is yeah. a painted yeah. lady bean? Okay, let me just try and hold it up. It's, I don't know. It's a lady with like makeup on it. A little bean. Look at that. It looks that like a baked bean. bean without the tomato sauce. Hey. 
It looks like a baked bean without the tomato sauce. That's that's not nice. <laughs> no, 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 I love not. baked beans. <laughs> those are those are different. Those are different beans, but these are different. They got a different texture to them, a different like mouthfeel. So like, which is another reason why I'm mixing them with some of the black beans. Black beans have a different texture as well. So yeah. we're mixing it all up. Nice mm. texture going on there. So we got the painted ladies and the black beans. A little bit of South African flavor, but a chakalaka. I like chakalaka on everything. Oh, yeah. Everything. That's going in there. More Mexican flavor. Jalapenos. Yeah, oh wow, this is going to be good. Yeah. Nice and spicy. Guys, yeah. I don't know who's going to have the better salad now. I, uh, I don't know. It's going to be a tricky one. How about you know, they just mm. equally as good? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, think, yeah. I, I, turn, I, I turn everything into a competition, especially. Yeah. But you know what? A bean salad is nice when it's got a little bit of sourness to it. Okay. Precious on because I've got nothing sour. In front of, oh, I've got some lemons. Lemons, lemons, lemons. <laughs> okay, I got some lemons. We've got another caller on the line. Hi, Rosie from Cape Town. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you guys? Wonderful. What's your question or comment, my love? I just want to tell you yesterday on our lady this day, it was my birthday, my crown birthday, hey? No. <laughs> Yes. Happy birthday, Happy baby! Birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Happy Thank birthday. you so much. For, for, for my question, my 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 comment is: I guess it was my birthday. We wanted to pry, so we just started. We don't have marinade. I'm like, no, man. I saw that the Austin Express team they use marinade. That they put some woods. Now we do woods go buy it, and I'm telling you, Jeannie, chips. I'm telling you, it was amazing. I'm never gonna buy. Any minute, any other shop, just buy wood. Thank you guys so That's much. That's my girl. That's great. That's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Happy birthday, my sweetheart, and thank you for enjoying it so much. We dedicate this, this dish to you. That's such a good feeling when we make people so happy here. Food makes me happy too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm okay. Done. Is I'm that done. done? I'm done. Yeah, so, this looks good. So this is I winning. I can see you probably want to taste test. But, <laughs> Clem, I've got faith in your bean salad because for me, a, a Friday also, another one that should... I think I've said this before. We can't go without it because otherwise it just seems incomplete. Yeah. And I think beans are getting a bit more love than they used to, which I think is a great thing. It's really such a, yeah. a, a nutritious... Thing to eat. Absolutely. Of course. Well, I mean, there's even a song about it. How does it go? Beans, beans are good for the heart. The more you eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <laughs> No, love beans, love beans. <laughs> okay, so the chicken is looking amazing. You yeah. are outstanding. I know. You are now going to be our, our bride queen for, for today. For life. Kim, wanted you pretend like you didn't know, but you know. Yeah. You know. Right. <laughs> so we've got our curry pasta salad, ready. which is now ready. I hope you're still letting us know if it's something that you that you enjoy in in Durban and Joburg as well as Cape Town. And uh, of course, we've got our bean salad there that's killing it as well. Goodness, that looks fantastic. Looks and we've got another caller on the line. Hi, Casey. How are you? Casey Lee. Hello. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Hello. No, we've lost Casey she got Lee. Shy. She got a little shy. Do you know that Woolworths does a, 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 a bean salad that looks very similar to that? I I'm thought you wanted to say make a better salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do. They totally do, do. They do a spicy curried bean salad as well, which is really cool. Really delicious. Yeah, that looks absolutely incredible. Okay, we've got Casey Lee back. Apparently, she really, really wants to speak to you. Hi, Casey. Hi, Jenny. How are you? So well in you, my love. What's your question or comment? Uh, my comment is for Desmond. I just wanted to say she's a real inspiration. She looks absolutely beautiful. I'm loving her most um, um jewelry that she's wearing. Oh, and I hope, you? I wish all the best for her. Thank and so she will continue rising. <laughs> it's a pleasure. What a beautiful oh, thing. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you so much. that. Now, please do tell us about the piece of jewelry because I can see that you're wearing It's all zips that have just been attached. It is. This is um, Miss Anchor. Um, she makes jewelry out of so it is so yeah. beautiful, really so. gorgeous and creative. Are oh, the earrings I made these? Yeah. Oh, well done, Miss Anchor. They're absolutely <laughs> stunning. So now you've got to try all of these recipes at your next bribe because they are sure fire winners. And of course, to get the recipes sent directly to your phone, SMS eat to double three six five zero. And then we'll send you the ingredients list and the link to the recipe. And in case you've missed any of these steps, check out the recap of how we made these marinades.
Presto, our braai is almost done. So don't go away because after the break, as promised, we are making a deliciously rich and creamy Amasi sauce cloaky. And remember to also hit us up on social media and tell us who has been a really strong influence on who you are now. So tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. Who's been the biggest influence in your life? My mother. Definitely really? my mother. Definitely. That's great. Tell us why. Um, she's strong. She's taught me kindness. She's taught me to be compassionate. Um, she's just a good person. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. My mama. I love how we're celebrating all the women in the life Definitely. today. Definitely. Oh. It's totally the spirit of Afternoon Express. All right. We're going to be back uh, in a little while with those sauce clerkies. Have you ever had a sauce clerky before? I have never had a sauce clerky. I've, I've never even heard of it before me today. <laughs> but let me just tell you, it's like cousins to the donut, so it's going to be tasty like a clerky. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> is a thick creamy mass your family will love made with love by clover Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, still, since we're still in the spirit of Heritage Day, yesterday we thought it best to stick to the theme. So on our cook-along, we are just making uh, sauce cloakies. But as my floor manager just told me, it's a sauce cloakie. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> but I'm going to stick to sauce cloakie with the thanks to the rich, creamy taste of Clover Amasi. So this nostalgic recipe is a winner with your dinner. So you simply have to try this at home. And to do that, SMS Clover to 336. Five zero to get this recipe. Now, SMSs are charged at one round fifty each, and free SMSs do not apply. And it's related to the donut, and it smells delicious. Look, I'm saying it's related to the donut. Uh, just for, uh, like a... I wasn't meant to hang on to that. No. Okay. But, but no, it's... it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty simple to make, which is very important, okay. and it's delicious. So, in here, I've got some butter and some flour and baking powder. What I've done is I've crumbed them together using my fingertips, okay. which is very important. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it now because it gets messy. But okay. it's very important because that's a great way to use your hands in the kitchen. And you can only get this texture by using your hands. It looks like kind of like a rough breadcrumb, like beach sand almost. Yeah. If you use a machine, it doesn't give you that result. Okay. So get your fingertips in so there. So in your, with your hands. And also care. fingertips only because your palms of your hand are quite warm. Okay. Fingertips are less warm. Great True tip. Story. Okay, we love that. Crumble, crumble in there. Then we're going to add an egg. Can okay. you add a little bit of our masi to it? I can indeed. 
Now, when you say a little bit... I like doing this by eye because you're looking for a thick... Oh, I love the stuff. You know what? Mm, I just okay, love the smell. That's oh, just is that enough? That's enough. Give it a good mix. Okay. And then that's pretty much it. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon sugar to the mix, actually. Yeah. And we're going to use the cinnamon sugar again a little later. Oh, this is going to be it. so tasty. It is. And it's, Ooh, today's another is. cheat day. <laughs> you know what the problem is with my life is that every day, instead of me just having one cheat, me a cheat meal a week, I can find a cheat meal every day. Okay, so it's usually you, in this loft. In 2019, <laughs> do you want to go like completely no butter, no sugar? No, no, no. never. I never uh, want to okay. do that in my whole life. As long life. as you're on the same page. As <laughs> long as you're on the same page. There's no way I'm ever going to cut that out of my <laughs> life. You know me. Okay. Pot of simmering water. Okay. I want to season the water again. A little bit of cinnamon with sugar. cinnamon sugar. Okay. Deal with me. Seasoning it's, the water. Like we do for pasta, we okay. add salt. salt. This is a sweet dish, so we're going to season it with some okay, that's sugar. Clever. So let's get this out the way. Just and like now that. you're basically going to make like a dumpling vibe. Hey? Yeah, okay. definitely. Two spoons, just like that. Drop the dough into the water and it floats. Can I tempt it? Go for it. Okay. Be gentle, be so, loving. So that's spoon all size. Yeah. Like that. Uh-huh. So you Hold cradle, it in that cradle shape. Cradle the dough at the bottom there with your second spoon. That. Like a little baby. And then keep it in there. Yeah, and then you kind of like just... Oh, man, I'm going to lose... No, 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 no. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, your one keeps on coming close to it. <laughs> so it's my Back one. Back off, My dough. one is looking for a friend, trying to get to know someone. Okay, what if it does... It's fine, hey? Practice. Just practice. It's totally fine. Oh, isn't it making one big... So that sounds great. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's pop the lid on. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is you're going to cook it for about a minute. Okay. And it's going to kind of cook the outside, so you're going to get a bit stodgy, which yeah. is what you want. This is a very dense dough. So would you take those two out, then add an, your next two in? Yes. Add, okay. Very important. Thank you for mentioning that. You would do that. So then what you do is, after about a minute of cooking, you would fish it out at sea. Are they ready to come out? No, they're not. But that's okay. okay. So once, after about a minute, they kind of set, and then the outside becomes firm, and you will be able to handle it. Take it out, pop it into your dish just like that. And then this actual water that's in there, we're not going to throw that away. Because it's taking the starch from our dough, we're going to add extra cinnamon sugar to it. Yeah. I'll boil it over. And then a little bit of butter maybe, and then pour it back into this dish. So look, if you could look over here, you can see the sauce clakies. Yeah. All right. And that's the actual sauce from the pot that we added more cinnamon sugar to. Baked it in the oven. That's our guy. So because you've added the, the cinnamon sugar to it, doesn't it become like a caramel then? So it's like a caramel sauce. It's like a caramel sauce. It becomes so sweet and decadent and like a little syrup. It's amazing. It's delicious. I cannot wait to get tucked into this. Do you know what I... Okay, now I'm sounding like a chef and I don't even know how to make toast properly. <laughs> <laughs> um, bake, putting baked apples in there. You just, just, you just reinvented the wheel. Really? Yeah. I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> so for this fantastic Heritage Month recipe, SMS Clover to double three six five zero, And remember, SMSs are charged at one round 50 each and free SMSs do not apply. Now, in case you missed it, here's a quick recap of these quick and easy steps. I love that today we're having like a second heritage day with all these amazing, incredible foods. So after the break, we actually get to listen to the soulful sounds of Deslin performing live in the loft. We'll be right back. Clover Amasi is a thick, creamy mass your family will love. Made with love by Clover.
find the space you need in a home you love. Private property, a home for everyone. Enter the Winner Home competition on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win a brand new, fully decorated apartment at Parterfle Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties, worth over three million rand. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Deslin is a lover of the arts in the purest form. While others pursue the industry for fame, Deslin simply loves to share a good message and make people feel good and whole through her music. Performing her song, Black Love, the gorgeous Deslin Malotana, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Bullet simply for the color of my skin and the texture of my hair. I couldn't quite comprehend that that tender age. Why did I look so different from the images I've seen? I failed to see the many colors in me, handcrafted by the one above.
the color of my skin too. I want to know love, black, black love, love, like the waterfall seen on the wound. I want to heal, I want to do what soon. Want us to be seen like the kings and the queens we are. This skin is a royal world, hey, where it like is confidence. I want that, I love you, you love me, we are happy. Family, when the kiss from me to you was just innocent. Times we fail to action it. We have that hood love confused up the tough love. Hey, they wore on our black bodies. We wore on our bodies. Black love's revolutionary. Oh, I am. Have a seat on our beautiful pink couch. Yes. Wow, that was amazing. So what's this song about? The song's about, it's about self-love. It's about um, us as humans not looking, at, not looking at each other at the color of our skins, yeah. but getting down to the core of it and who we are as beings, our souls. And so this yeah. is what that song's about, Black Love, That's Love. What a beautiful message. Thank you. And I mean, you've got such a beautiful soul. Tell me a lot about the work that you do in Grassy Park, the community, community upliftment projects. That well, you I, was, I was involved in quite a few um, community up, um, upliftment yeah. projects, working with, ch with children and with the youth. So that, that's my passion, working yeah. with kids. I heard that you're part of this involvement where you buy a brick and build a house. Yeah, that, so that, that was something that, that, was, that was happening, yes. Um, so yeah, they built, they, you to break and then the build the house like in Ghana. Yeah. That's so okay. amazing. We've got a caller on the line, Swaki. Hi, how are you? Hi, very well, thanks Ni. What's your question or comment, my darling? It's a comment for Devlin. Yeah. <laughs> She's listening. Hi Devlin, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you, yourself? Okay, I just want to say I love your dreadlocks. They are nice, really, really nice. And you think beautifully. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you so you much for your that. call. Okay, now you sang so well. I'm pretty sure you're dying to get stuck into your. Yes, the food looks lovely. I mean, you did slave all day. Can I pass you a piece of chicken? Yes, please. What, do you have any preferences? Breast, thigh? Uh, wing. Wing. That's a wing. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and That's you've got a leg so there. Good. I don't even know what to have. I'm so excited. I'm going for. Oh, I'm not going to have the biggest. I'm just going to go <laughs> with that one. And then I'm going to try your salad. This just mm. looks so good. What did you, how did you celebrate Heritage Day yesterday? Um, I just celebrated with family. Nice. Oh, yeah. Thank Best you. Ever. Did you bry? We bried on Sunday, so we ate the leftovers yesterday. Oh, oh perfect. That's nice. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. Nothing better. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, Are you digging in? I'm absolutely digging in. I want to know your opinion on it, and especially okay. the, the pasta salad. I know, it's like, it's too really far away from me to dish. <laughs> That's yeah, like this new table. It's like, you have to get, like, <laughs> friends to help you out. Yeah, exactly. But thank mm. you so much for being on the show. And uh, we want to see a lot more of you, and we want to, um, whenever you do any gigs, you've got to let us know whenever you're going to be performing in the area. And, of course, we'll have all of those details oh, definitely. on our website for you. <laughs> <laughs> do you gig around South Africa a lot? I do. Okay. Around in Cape Town, yes, I do. Okay, amazing. Yeah. Best of luck. Loving it. Thank you and very much. how's the food? Good. Really good, guys. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. noodles are really Clean. good. You don't, why did I not give you, not give you any pasta? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Did you make anything special yesterday? Anything different? Um, yeah, I absolutely did. I cooked up a massive storm and yeah. I did the right thing. I put it on Instagram because you know, if it didn't happen on the gram, it didn't happen. <laughs> oh man, I saw yours on the gram. Did you see it? I saw yours on the gram. Yeah, I said, so you have to do it you. that way, you know? Oh, but it was guys. great. I think more than anything, just spending the time with family. Exactly. That was it. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving me my second Heritage Day today. It's been an absolute treasure. Now join us again tomorrow as we chat to actress and founder of Royalties of Royalty Soapy Awards, Bani Nile, I believe it's in Chapa. Okay, we'll be back then. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night and God bless. <laughs> <laughs>
Never Feel Good Production.